Okay, I want to talk right now about a uh, special situation that occurs when you take an existing second law process in diffusion and um, modify it. So let's let's just discuss the background of this very simple equation. We begin with the second law equation, and we want to consider the situation where we have start. We have an existing process that's running. And that existing process uses a particular raw material um, in a particular environment that gives me a certain surface concentration, and it produces a certain product concentration at uh, some desired depth. Now, that's all of the concentration information is on the left side of this equation, and there's nothing, there's nothing in here um, that's related to concentration. Diffusivity is a function of temperature, time, and depth. And so this produces a special um, case. So let's say we had an old process one. We have a given CX, C0, CS, and based on a time one and a diffusivity one, those produce some depth of case. Now let's say we take this, going to modify the process. And the idea is, well, we're going to use the same initial conditions and boundary conditions of the same target. But management's come to you and said, look, we don't want to use 10 hours to do this. We need to cut the hours to 7 because this is a bottleneck in the process and it's tying up other machines. So what we may come, through, come back with is, well, you're going to use a different time. So in order to do that different time, I'm going to need to alter my diffusivity if I want to produce the same x value if x1 and x2 are the same. Um, or you may be given the, the need to change the x value and from there you got to figure out what, you know, what's going on. Anyway, the, the idea here is your raw material is not changing, your surface concentration is not changing, you're running the same furnace at this end, and, and uh, I, uh, obviously that only works if the diffusivity change doesn't change the surface concentration. And then um, you're working with the same raw material. Now if that's the case, then what you have is Cx minus C0 over Cs minus C0 for my process. 1 is equal to that, obviously, because we didn't change any of the numbers, right, for process 2. But that means I can set the right hands equal, right? And we move the 1 over and get rid of the negative sign. And so I end up with the ERF of x over 2 times the square root of dt for my initial process is equal to the ERF x over 2 times the square root of dt for my new process. Those have to remain constant. Well, obviously, are a function on both sides. Get rid of that. Get rid of the multiply both sides by 2. And then we don't really like to have a radical in these kinds of relationships. And so what we'll do is square both sides. And you end up with x squared over dt is a constant. What we mean by that is that if I am not altering the raw material, I'm not offer, altering the conditions of the surface, I'm not altering the target concentration, then I can mess with temperature and temperature and the diffusivity, time and the case depth, and they're always going to be related this way. Okay? So, for an example problem, this is very simple, this is a plug and chug problem, so you shouldn't need a whole lot, but let's say our current process was six hours at 1200 degrees C and that produces a three millimeter case. Now let's say we alter the process. In the new process what we want to do is we're going to do three hours at 1200 degrees C and the question is what's my case? What's that going to do to the depth of our final product? So we go to this equation, well we're not changing temperature, so my d is a constant. So what I have is x squared over dt for my current process has to equal x squared over dt for my new process. Well obviously the d's cancel, they're going to be the same. So I end up with 3 squared, which is my cur um, current depth. Okay. Over and, and then students will say, well do I need to convert to seconds? Well, I've got to have whatever time I have here, I'm going to have the same time here. The units cancel, right? I'm going to be left with whatever units I put in for length. And so in this case, I'm going to use 3 millimeters, so this x will be in millimeters. 
All right, so my current time is six hours, and we then have my new depth over three. Rearranging, you get nine over two is x squared, which gives us x is 2.12 millimeters. So we're going to cut the time in half from six to three hours, but we don't cut the case in half, interestingly, right? Um, that's an important result. All right, so that is a process modification problem. X squared over dt is a constant when you do not, and the key here is you're not altering your initial concentration in your part, you're not altering the target concentration and the surface concentration in the part is um, also unchanged. And then so you get second law diffusion, but by holding all of those concentrations constant, we have a very simple algebra problem rather than having to work with the earth function.